Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'd like to show you how to make uh, your own Excel templates for nutrition facts. Now, what I've got here is I've got the USDA template for nutrition facts. And you can see here it's, it's got a standard. You've probably seen this on groceries and whatnot, boxes of, of food that you've bought. It has a title and some serving information and cal calorie information and nutrients and things like that. So what I've done is I've taken that template and I've kind of duplicated it in an Excel spreadsheet here. The way I did it was, if you look across here on the top where it says nutrition facts, um, I have name of food, but you can change that to nutrition facts, but it happens to be three cells that are merged together. Um, that way you can get this one big um, block across the top with no lines in it. And <clears throat> I've got servings per container, that's what they have. Yeah, they have stuff like this, they have servings per container too, but look right there, they have serving size, one cup. I can go insert, insert a row right there and say serving size. But notice how it's uh, all occupying that one cell there. I wanna have it go across those three, so I'm gonna select all those three and then I'm going to go to, let me stretch this out a little bit. I've got a merge. Here we go, right here, merge and center. You do that, and there, I just made the cell, th those three cells into one. So I've just done that, marching, kind of marching down the, the, the uh, template here. I'm just kind of duplicating what they've done. I can take this, format the uh, cells, the font, take it from 18 to 12, say, and it makes it look better. I can tell it to uh, change from merge center to merge, just merge cells, and then format the cells, alignment. I can tell it to format justified, and then it moves it over. So there's, you know, that, that kind of formatting uh, information or adjustments, you can make the adjustments to make it look you know, to make it match up with how it looks. Oh, we don't want to do that. We want to format the cells so we get the alignment right. We want it justified. Doing something wrong here. Format cells, alignment. Oh, there we go. Here's the problem. Justify, there we go. Okay, so you see you can adjust you know, the cells to make them look how you want. You can put borders on the, the top and the bottom, like that. So you, you basically you build up this template. It, you just copy the template from the USDA uh, site and put in the same information that, you, that they have. You can you know, bold the text and things like that. Um, and if you notice right here where it has like, you know, total fat, cholesterol, things, I've only merged two cells together. That way I can tell this to be left justified and leave these cells over here so I can keep them right justified. And uh, again, I can do that in the formatting. I can go to format cells, alignment, and I can say right, you know, like that. So that all these columns are like that. So then basically what I can do is I can duplicate or duplicate the USDA format for uh, nutrition facts and come up with a, a spreadsheet um, template that looks exactly like it or very close to it. And when you print this out, um, you could print it out on, say, uh, label paper or something. These uh, little faint lines in here that separate the internal cells, they won't show up. Only the heavy lines that you actually put in, the borders and the text will show up. And so you can make it, you know, you can tailor it to look just like that. Now to save it as a template, you go up into Save As, and you select, <clears throat> you can, I'm selecting uh, Excel Macro Enabled Template, because you know, maybe I might want to do some math in it sometime, um, and you want to have the macros turned on. So you can do that, or just do it with a regular template, and then you can say, I've got a uh, Nutritional Facts Template. I can save it. Yes, and I'll just let's go ahead and overwrite it. And now, if I want to create a new document, I can go from existing, actually, you can, yeah, you can go from, from there and create a new, 
or you can also say create new documents from my templates and you can see right there is a template uh, that I just worked on. So that's how you can do it. My name is Matt Pierce. Today we talked about how to make your own Excel templates for nutrition facts. Thanks for watching.